what is going on guys today we're going to be learning variable types in solo learn so we're going to go in here to learn so types <clears throat> there are other types that you can use for variables the int type is used to store whole numbers or integers as we call them in programming so an int is basically an integer value so int age equals 42 so the variable age is equivalent to 42 okay. fill in the blanks to declare a variable that holds the value 14 so we're gonna so an int and then equals if the assignment operator and boom okay to work with decimal numbers use the type double so now we're going to use double um to represent decimal numbers okay so john so what do you guys think john would be here so John is a string, okay? And then 24 is a whole number, so it's gonna be an integer. And then this is a decimal number, 189.87. So that is gonna be a double. All right, we got that right. Java has another type for decimals called float. When using the float type, you need to use and F postfix after the value. So this tells Java to use the value as a float instead of a double. Okay, and the, the difference between a float and a double we'll learn later. Okay, so fill the missing symbol to correctly declare floats. So what do you guys think that float would be? So like we've read in the past, it would be an F, correct? Nope. Float versus double. By default, decimal values are of type double. Float is using less storage in the memory, but it's not precise as the double type. This means that the calculations that use floats are faster than the ones that use double. However, the result is less accurate in terms of the decimal digits. As a general rule, use float instead of double when memory usage is critical. If you need more precise computations, for example, when dealing with currency, use double. Okay. The characters. The character or chart type is used to hold a single character. It is created similar to strings, however, it uses single quotes for the value. A, care, a char value must be enclosed in single quotes. Yes, sir. All right. Boolean. Another important type is Boolean. It can hold only the values true or false. This is handy when we work with states or conditions, for example. Boolean is open equals false. So Boolean is like true or false. For example, the Boolean above can show whether a shop is open or closed. Select the two values that Boolean can hold. Like we've said, true or false. So the lesson takeaways for today are going to be int holds integers, which are whole numbers, Double holds decimal numbers, and then float is similar to double, but has less precision and requires less memory. You need to use an F postfix after the value to make it a float. For example, 3.1 F, and then char holds a single character. Boolean can have one of the following values, true or false. So please subscribe to the channel. And we will learn how to make calculations in the next lesson. Uh, for now, we are going to make the displaying account balance um, code challenge. So 
the given program declares a label in the balance variable, okay? And it assigns it to their values. Then it outputs the label in balance values. However, the code is missing the required types of variables. Task. Add the required types to make the program work as expected. All right, let's start solving. So, so we just basically have to um, make it so label and balance of the correct value types or data types. Okay? So label balance would be a string. And then balance would be a double. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So drag and drop to fill in the correct data types for the given variables. Num equals eight, so not so eight is a integer, true is a boolean, forty is a double, and then product. Apple is going so the word apple is a string. Okay. All right, the lesson is completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate um, if you would guys would like the video and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great day.